It started with a flicker just, a faint blip in the data. Something cold, silent, and fast, moving through our solar system in a way nothing ever had before. Telescopes from Hawaii to South Africa caught it first. Then NASA confirmed it. A new object, uncharted, unbound by gravity's expected rules, and most terrifying of all, coming from outside our solar system. At first, it was just another rock. But within hours, patterns emerged. Speed too fast, trajectory too perfect, reflections too bright. And when scientists traced its path, what they found made the blood run cold it was headed straight toward the heart of the system. For decades, we've believed that space is silent, still, and indifferent. But now, as this mysterious object barrels through our cosmic backyard, the James Webb Space Telescope has turned its gaze upon it. And what it has started to reveal is something we may not be ready for. Because some are now asking, what if this isn't just a visitor? What if it's watching us back? First detected between the 25th of June and 29th, the object now officially named 3I, Atlas appeared on the radar of Atlas, a high-speed sky-scanning system designed to catch potentially hazardous objects before they surprise us. But this time, Atlas didn't find just another asteroid. What it caught was different. Its speed exceeded 152,000 miles per hour. Its orbit didn't follow any of the known gravitational loops of comets or inner solar system wanderers. And when astronomers reversed its trajectory through simulation, its origin pointed not to the Oort cloud, not to Neptune, but to interstellar space possibly, the core of our galaxy. This wasn't a leftover rock from the formation of the solar system. This was something that had been traveling through the dark for tens of thousands of years, unseen. And now, it had crossed the threshold into our solar domain. But the deeper mystery wasn't just where it came from. It was why now. Because before 2017, we had never seen a single interstellar object. Now, we've seen three. And each one has been stranger than the last. After the initial confirmation, scientists around the world scrambled to get time on the most powerful space observatory ever built the James Webb Space Telescope. Designed to peer deeper into time and space than anything before it, Webb was now focused on something much closer, and potentially, much more unsettling. The object's brightness didn't match its apparent size. Based on the intensity of the light it reflected, it should have been massive. But measurements suggested something smaller, which means the surface isn't behaving like rock, or ice seats behaving like metal. Highly reflective, cold, possibly hollow. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who previously suggested that the 2017 object Oumuamua might have been artificial, once again stepped forward. He urged scientists to look for non-gravitational acceleration small deviations in motion that can't be explained by the sun's gravity alone. If such deviations exist, they might indicate that the object isn't drifting, but navigating. And if it's navigating, then we're not watching a rock, we're watching a decision. To understand how serious this discovery is, we have to look at the two interstellar objects that came before it. In 2017, Oumuamua burst into the scientific world with its strange elongated shape, lack of comet tail, and mysterious acceleration after passing the sun despite showing no signs of gas or propulsion. Then, in 2019, Borisov entered the picture clearly. A comet. Yes. But faster and more volatile than anything seen before. With each of these objects we were left with more questions than answers. But three, I. Atlas is different. It combines the inexplicable brightness of Oumuamua with the trajectory of Borisov. It doesn't behave like a rock, but it also doesn't fit neatly into the category of a comet. And now, Astronomers are considering something even more radical. These may not be isolated events. They may be part of a pattern. A wave. 
a slow, deliberate sequence of contact disguised as randomness. Because for centuries, our skies were empty. Then, suddenly, they weren't. And the only variable that changed was us. Among all the scientific papers, trajectory models, and observational data lies one question that no institution wants to address publicly. What if it's not natural? When you remove everything that doesn't make sense when the brightness is too high, when the path is too sharp, when the motion isn't gravitational, you're left with a possibility too terrifying for most to say aloud. Artificiality. Not aliens in the Hollywood sense. Not flying saucers and green faces, but probes, autonomous systems, artificial messengers sent long ago from places far away. Avi Loeb suggests we may already have missed the message from Oumuamuayand that 3i, Atlas, could be our second chance. Its surface properties, its anomalous speed, and the timing of its arrival all point toward intentionality, or at least engineering. The James Webb Telescope will continue to monitor its thermal signature, spin, and trajectory. But what if the answers we're about to find aren't about what it is, but about who sent it? Because in a cosmos that's 13.8 billion years old, the most terrifying discovery wouldn't be that we're alone. It would be that we've been watched all along, and only now, we're smart enough to notice. As days passed, the data from the James Webb Telescope and its supporting ground-based counterparts began to converge on something deeply unsettling. The object was accelerating, ever so slightly, and not in a way that solar radiation could explain. This wasn't cometary outgassing there was no tail, no particle plume, no traceable emission. And yet, the object continued to alter its trajectory slipping past predicted paths with eerie precision. Webb's infrared lens confirmed a faint but consistent thermal signature not chaotic like an ice body, but stable, patterned, and directed. The anomaly echoed the same behavior seen in Oumuamua, where a similar unexplained acceleration prompted a quiet panic behind scientific doors. This time, however, it wasn't dismissed. It was measured, tracked, and now, feared. Because the very act of acceleration, without 4C suggests something else, something with control. And for the first time, scientists began to whisper in internal memos what they couldn't yet say on record. We're not just observing this object, we might be under observation too. With Webb's advanced instruments aimed directly at the object, the team at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center performed a full spectral analysis. They expected to find silicates, iron, ice-typical signs of celestial debris. What they found instead shattered expectations. The surface composition didn't match any known asteroid or comet profile. Certain absorption lines suggested the presence of advanced carbon structures, ones more commonly associated with engineered materials than natural geology. In layman's terms, it looked manufactured. Not only was the reflectivity unusually high, but there were hints of symmetry in how the object spun something almost unheard of in random cosmic debris. One side absorbed more heat than the other, possibly indicating intentional design. Even more baffling, fluctuations in electromagnetic readings hinted at internal complexity, perhaps even cavities or layered density. Whatever this was, it wasn't a typical chunk of rock. And if it isn't a rock, what is it? That question began to echo from NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab to the European Southern Observatory, to the classified halls of national defense agencies. Because if nature didn't make this thing, someone did. As public excitement grew, a new kind of silence began to settle in. Agencies that initially released trajectory data and light curves NASA, ESA, and India's ISRO suddenly pulled back. Mission pages stopped updating. Observational timelines vanished. 
requests for raw web data were denied, citing internal review. FOIA requests submitted by journalists returned heavily redacted documents, and whispers began to leak from inside observatories researchers pulled from teams, specialists reassigned, access to telescope feeds quietly restricted. The public, initially fed a narrative of curiosity, was now met with closed doors. Why? What changed? Analysts in the astrophysics community began to suspect that something had been found something extraordinary and that governments were scrambling not just to understand it, but to decide what the public should be allowed to know. Because once a discovery reaches a certain threshold zone that challenges the frameworks of physics, security, or belief it, no longer belongs to the realm of science. It becomes a matter of control. And control, in space, is as much about silence as it is about signals. As the object continues its silent glide through our solar system, a new realization is dawning across the scientific world. This is no longer just a data point, it's an inflection point. A moment where centuries of assumptions about space, solitude, and human centrality are being forced into reconsideration. If this object is artificial, then it came from a civilization far older than ours. One capable of building something that can survive millennia in deep space. One that might never need to speak because its presence alone is message enough. And if it isn't artificial, then we've just found a natural phenomenon so advanced and rare that it mimics design to the point of deception. Either way, the conclusion is the same. Our understanding of the universe is incomplete, and James Webb just held up a mirror to that ignorance. We are no longer staring into the void. The void, perhaps, is staring back, and what it sees might finally be worthy of attention. Amid the escalating mystery, a deeper, more disquieting idea began to ripple through the scientific community, not in public conferences or peer-reviewed journals, but in hushed conversations and encrypted emails between researchers. What if this object, this silent interstellar visitor, was never meant to be found by accident? What if the timing of its arrival, the growing intelligence of our instruments, and the specific orientation of the James Webb Telescope, all converging at this precise moment in history, was the final variable in a cosmic experiment? Not just an artifact drifting through space, but a test, a probe waiting to be noticed by a civilization that had finally reached the threshold of detection. One that signals, you're now intelligent enough to find us. Now let's see what you do next. Think about it radio silence for billions of years. No messages, no signals, no obvious visitors. And yet now, as AI advances, Quantum physics accelerates, and humanity begins to stretch its fingers beyond Mars. Something appears, quiet, precise, intriguing enough to lure our greatest telescope off its deep sky missions and onto it. Could this be the moment where we become the data point? Where our reactions, our science, our fears, and our silence all become part of their observation? Because maybe the scariest part of this discovery isn't what we saw, but the realization that we were never the observers at all. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to look outward to trace the earliest stars, decode the origins of galaxies, and pull back the curtain on cosmic time. But what it found instead was something here, now, and possibly watching back, not at the edge of the universe, but crossing through our cosmic doorstep. An object too perfect to be random, too silent to be ordinary, and too timely to be coincidence. We wanted answers. Instead, we found a mirror, a quiet, gliding enigma that reflects not just infrared light, but our deepest insecurities. Are we alone? Have we ever been? Or were we simply never advanced enough to notice what's been passing us by? What James Webb has revealed is not just a celestial object, 
It's the beginning of a new vocabulary on that may include things we're not ready to define. Whether artificial or natural, intelligent or accidental, the truth is this. We've entered a new phase of cosmic awareness. One where our telescopes don't just show us stars, they show us how much we still don't know. And maybe, how much someone else already does. This wasn't a warning light. It was a test pattern. And now the question isn't whether we'll find something out there. It's whether something has already found us. If this story sent a chill down your spine, if it made you question everything we thought we knew about the cosmos, if it forced you to wonder who's really looking through the lens, then don't walk away in silence. Subscribe to this channel because we follow the signals that others ignore. Turn on notifications, because the next object might not just be passing by. Share this video with someone who still believes we're alone in the dark. Comment below. Do you think 3i, Atlas, is natural, or something more?